Minecraft Dungeons save file editor. Now I said in the previous video I would show you how the tower works and what you can do with the tower to help your progress and other things as well. So the first thing we need to do is, I'll show you this quickly, right, so if we go um, open your character, we go here characters, your last one, like I said in the previous video, um, if you've played that character last and you want to, that's the one you want to edit, it will always be by date modified and the latest one here. So double click that and it will load your character up and it will give you all your information in the inventory and stack counter and storage. Now the tower, the tower starts blank like this. Now he has put in a start tower run here and it comes up and it loads, but when you go into tower you start off on floor zero again. It doesn't seem to work this way. So what you need to do is you need to load up the game and go into the tower. This is what I found anyway. So we've got the game here. I'm going to go run, we can go map, I suppose, and we can go um, tower, um, current floor zero. So annoyingly, I might have this wrong, but you need to complete the first level because there's no way to exit on level zero because let's face it, why would you want to edit, leave it on level zero? You just might as well not start it. So unfortunately you have to do the first level, I believe. I might have that wrong. If I have, let me know and um, I will try and do it the way that anyone else suggests. But as far as I'm aware, there is no exit in here other than escape quitting, leave the tower. So if I leave the tower, you give up. So we need to go in here and I need to try and do this. So let me do this quickly. I'll speed the video up, by the way. Right, so there we go. I've done the first level. Now, I don't want to go through this door here because that will register me into the next level. I actually want to go to him here and I want to go back to camp. So this would register a save point. So by doing that, I have registered a save point and I should be able to load this up within the MCD save edit. So once that has loaded the camp, I will go back to MCD to edit and load it up just to see if it's worked. So file, um, you can go recent, but I'm going to go open and this one here. So that's the time now and wait for it to load and there we go so you can see it's loaded up and it says my next floor is floor two so i'm just going to close dungeons down because i don't want to corrupt any saves anywhere or anything so i'm just going to actually load that again just in case there is any other data that it saves on exit and i don't want to really try and corrupt it. So anyway, here we are in the tower, we call it the tower editor, tower save editor. So this is the difficulty, obviously, I've got an apocalypse, how many enchantment points I've got, you can't edit that, that's just how it is, it works out automatically. And the next floor, so, and what type it is, here's your inventory, uh, your artifacts that you haven't got, and the way that you edit it is very similar to any other way. You click on the item, it loads here, and then you can change it here. So I'll set that to 300. I'm going to change this here to the fight bindings. Now, in just to, just to have some criticism, in here would be nice to have a search. I don't think there is one, but that would be nice to have a filter search. So that would be nice, but it's not that. So anyway, fighter bindings. I'm going to have them gilded. I'm going to have them um for this is where i just i'm trying to do it quickly and i shouldn't really <clears throat> um don't really want infinity on it i thought about it we could put looting on it i guess um we're just gonna put radiance on it at level three and then this one here we're gonna click here um this loads up again and then i'm gonna put let's put busy bee on it just just something different yeah, and then here I want, I don't know, Radiance. See, I would normally go, oh, and search. If it doesn't work, I'm pressing R and it's not working. Where is it? Radiance, Radiance, Melee, because it's a melee weapon. And then um, let's do, let's do, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's do... 
I really don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? I suppose doesn't really matter. Um, I will do a critical hit. There we go. Right. So we have fighter binders that are gilded at level three. We have enchantment, busy bee, uh, radiant. I think it's busy bee, and um, critical hit. We can then transfer this to inventory and transfer it to storage, which is is quite good. These are your artifacts. Now, last time I clicked on these, because it had nothing in them, it broke. It crashed the game. So I'm oh, sorry, crashed the um, program. I'm not going to click them. So if they're there, click them. If they're not there, I would suggest just leave them alone. Right, I'm going to save that before I forget or if it crashes. So I've just saved that. So on the left hand side, you have the levels. So these are all the levels within the um, current the current tower it's all preloaded with what type of challenge what type of reward what type of tile it is and what type of floor um so you've got combat you've got um there you go, if I click on this we've got a uh, combat merchant and boss so i'm going to leave them alone i'm not really too worried about it but let's just say i wanted to get up right to the end if you click on this one here it will take you to the final floor which is the end of the tower so you can do the first level and then come on here change it to level 30 which is the final floor and not fight another creature mob but i'm going to change it to this one here so i'm actually going to go and start on the boss the other thing i've noticed that you can change this here so what type of thing it drops so i'm going to change that all to melee so i should at the end to receive melee i'm not too sure on it how it works like that because i don't believe on the last boss you get to choose between three at the moment it's only two but i don't know and then you can change if you know the tiles you can change the tiles so you can have this tile here and that tile there I just it's up to you i'd leave them alone we can then change the bosses defeated the attempts that are left now you can't go up on here but i've noticed you can type it in now i'm just going to leave it at three because that's default i don't want to muck anything up at this stage but you can try it um, I can't guarantee it's not going to muck anything up, but you know, arrows. We like arrows, so let's let's do five thousand seed. Now I don't know what seed does. Some little tool tips would be nice to have, just to say this does this, this does that, and that does this. The other thing I've noticed just then is arrows has a, a lower A, and these have a um, upper. Doesn't matter. Um, it works. That's the main thing. So you can also change a level here, I believe. I, I just leave it level one, it's not really gonna matter, is it? Um, at this stage. So we go, we're all set. Oh, we can also change the armor. So we change the armor to something different. Um, what armor would you like? What armor? Let's put, um, let's put, uh, there you go, this one here. I believe this is gonna be a new one coming out. And then the bow, oh, I'll click on that one there. The bow, let's put this one here because that's the new bow coming out. So we change that to uh, 300 as well. Oh, we might as well just change them all to 300. I've done with it. Right, so that is it done. So we can change pretty much a lot of things within our inventory and character and the tower level itself. They're all held in the save file. So it's actually quite nice. Um, I believe this update actually took a bit more longer than the normal ones to come out, but it's out now and you can use it it's a bit there's a few bugs here and there but nothing major so we're going to save that now and then i'm going to load up dungeons and see what happens right so i've literally just dropped into dungeons and let's go see what the tower has in store for us now i think i'm straight on the final boss with some decent armor weapons but no artifacts still so let's have a look so here we go we can see the tower the current floor is 29 which we said it would be because you have to climb up to 30 even though you set it to 30 it always spawns you back attempts left is three we were going to change that but i refrained from doing because i didn't want to ruin anything um and you can see here that my, i don't know if that's my armor or not no it's not so let's um continue So this uh, MCD edit is available on Patreon. Um, it is a uh, it's pittance really for what it's worth. Uh, subscribe once, get it, and the next time you want it again, subscribe again. Um, or keep the subscription going and give them some cash all the time. It does. Anyway, we're in. We're in level 29. I'm just going to have a look at my inventory. So there's my uh, fire bindings. There is my cloak skull, and there is my shrieking crossbow, which is two new items I believe that are due out soon so we have the redstone monstrosity we're on floor 29 of 30 but it's 
seems a bit bugged because that's come up before I've actually got to level because this level's a merchant floor. So we're just going to go here. There we go. Right, we're in. We can fight him. We can hopefully kill him and progress to the end. So there he is. I don't know what he's doing. Let's go. One hit, kill. Dead. That was a bit too easy. I mean, you can do that if you want. There's not much fun in it. Um, I like to say, play how you want, just don't impede others. Because um, it's all about having fun and having fun. That is it. Just don't just don't annoy other people, basically. Right, so we're done. This is the quickest tower I've ever done, I think. Um, super simple. Really nice. And... I just, did you see what I mean about the, the drops? I don't understand that. I've only got one. Maybe because I've only defeated one boss. So if you defeat three bosses, you get more drops. But I've got armor. But I'm sure I set it to melee. I've actually still got it open so I can check. Yeah, I set it to melee, melee, melee. But I set this was here. So I don't really understand what the rewards do at this point in time. Um, but I've got some emerald gear, which is quite cool. Um, I don't really need it on this and I don't think I can claim it because my inventory is full. So yeah, that is it in the nutshell. So the next time if I wanted to uh, muck around with the tower again, I would have to go and do the first level and then um, come back to MCD edit and then do it again. I believe it is a bug at the moment. It might be changed in the future, but it is what it is. It still makes it 300 times, 3 million times more easier and quicker if you do it like I just did. Right, see, I, I keep all like, I don't want that item. So anyway, yeah, that is it. That is MCD Edit. It is made by Cutflame. He releases it on Patreon. And then later on, I believe he releases it on GitHub. Um, go and support him. He's obviously still working on it, doing it. This video isn't endorsed by him. It's because it's a good program. It works and you can get a lot of fun out of it. So go play, go have fun and enjoy. Hopefully this video has been good. I'll catch you again soon and don't forget to like and subscribe and have fun.